Hello, it's Mr. Chabry, and let's get started on week one of the PGBL battles. So, um, th this is the Kentucky Typhlosions, and if you've watched my my team decision video from yesterday, you'll know which Pokemon I'm bringing in. The thing that I forgot to um, say in that video is the power of alchemy does not work in singles. So, yeah, there's that, and I switched extreme speed on Dragonite for Ice Beam for that Landorus, but here we're seeing the Pokemon she's bringing in, and there is no Landorus. Interesting. So, Ice Beam will still be good for that Dawn fan. So, yeah, let's look at this team. She's got her Mega Charizard Y, Dawn fan, Shaman, Latios, Rotom, and Ariados. So, what is she probably leading off with? I'm thinking... More than likely, he's leading off with Ariados. So I think going with Caesar with Defog. I mean, I want I could send Typhlosion out first and put some heat on that. But um, I think Caesar would be better because what if she ends up not bringing out Ariados? That'll be good for me. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Actually. Oh. If she leads off with Charizard, that's going to be really bad. Charizard has the potential to wipe out my team. Alright, so... Assault Fest Muck. So hopefully Assault Fest Muck can do something. And, res like, you know, take a hit from this Charizard. So let's get started on this battle. Oh boy. Right? And Sophia's here too, she's doing what Sophia usually does. Alright, so Ariados is the lead, of course. Kind of thought so. Um, going to go for the sticky web, I'm pretty sure. So what we'll do is go ahead and Mega Evolve and get a... Hmm. We'll go ahead and just... Um, we'll go for a Bullet Punch first turn. And then after that, we can go ahead and defog. See how much damage we can get on this thing, I guess. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sticky Web is coming. So what I want to do is get some damage on this Ariados. And then... And I can switch into something, because I'm sure she'll probably bring... Um... Charizard in, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so... Things to worry about? Mainly Charizard. Mega Charizard Y has super high special attack. And... Even with that Assault Vest, I'm, I'm not sure if Mutt can really handle it that well. Alright, so she's sticking in with Ariados. Probably going for the Sticky Web. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get a Bullet Punch, see how much that does. Sticky Web, alright. Alright, so what we'll do now is just go for the defog. Get rid of that sticky web. She'll probably switch into something else, like Dawn Fan, is what I would guess, or maybe even Charizard. Try to get some early game knockouts. So she went for Sucker Punch this time. We're going to get go for Defog. Get rid of that sticky web. That's awesome. Nice. All right. So, um, so I doubt she'll go for sticky web again. I think she's going to actually switch into something else. So what I'm going to do is go for U-turn. Um, it, just in case she's, if she decides to stay in, we'll get some damage on this Charlotte. And 
If she switches, we'll put some damage on whatever comes in. So if I had to guess, I would guess that Charizard would be a, a plausible switch in right now. That would be my guess. What? I mean, really... <clears throat> I'm not sure. So if Charizard comes in, I think Eclosion is the best answer with that Flash Fire. It's Choice Scarf. It has Hidden Power Rock. Alright, so with Draw, Michelin, who happens to be the Dawn fan, of course, will get a U-turn. Get some damage on it. We'll go into Roserade. So I'm pretty sure Stealth Rocks is coming in, possibly. But I want I want to get rid of this thing with my Roserade. So let's let's go ahead and look at her team. <clears throat> Try to think. Okay, so she has some things to switch into this um, to take the the energy ball, of course Charizard, Latias, and um, that Shaman, so I, I, I doubt she's going to stick in and let this thing go down, so what we can do is we can go for Sludge Bomb, maybe even Hidden Power Rock, I would say that Charizard is possibly coming in, but mm, What's the chance of, sh of her just setting up Stealth Rocks? Um, Hidden Power Rock for that Charizard, or Energy Ball for this Dawn Fan. Or she might go into Shaman, which Sludge Bomb would be good. Or Latios, which this is like, whatever I pick here is a big thing. We'll just get, um, let's just go for, um, I don't want to show the Hidden Power Rock if it's not going to happen, so I'll go ahead and go for Sludge Bomb. Maybe Shaman will come in. Maybe Shaman will be the switch in. Hmm. If she goes for Stealth Rocks, I just wasted. Okay, she's switching. What's coming in? McMuffin? Latias. Okay. And so, oh, we got the poison. Nice. Okay, so. So we poisoned it, that's really nice. So what we're going to do now is switch into Muck. That's the best switch in. Or I could switch into um Mandibuzz. Um so Mandibuzz is actually a, this is a special defensive variant. So But Muck has the assault vest, so I think Muck would be best to bring in on this turn, since it has pursuit and shadow sneak. So I think that's the best bet right now. Bring in Muck. Thunder Wave. We've been Thunder Wave. Great. Okay. That's okay. We still have Pursuit. We still have Shadow Sneak. So we, we didn't have anything to take a Thunder Wave, did we? Alright, so we'll go ahead and, um, Pursuit, I think, because I, I doubt she's sticking in with this Latias. So I think a Pursuit will be the best bet. Probably going to switch. And when she does, Latias will be out. Alright, come on, Muck. <clears throat> go chase the Latias. I think... I think it's a good thing that we did not reveal that Hidden Power Rock yet. Because that's going to come in handy for that Mega Charizard. It's going to come in real handy for that Mega Charizard. If we can bait the Charizard in and have it take a Hidden Power Rock, that's going to be great. Isn't it, Sophia? Sophia's just sitting there. Staring at me. He's like right there. In paw distance. Uh, 
Okay, so I think once she's expecting the pursuit, then she might go for something that'll do big damage. Oh, Dragon Pulse! Uh, what is this going to do? Muck is taking it! Right. Oh, Muck's paralyzed. Great. Okay. Muck's just shown that Muck can take a lot more than than we thought. Well, Muck is great. Um, so, I think I think we need to go for Pursuit. Sophia, don't paw at the microphone. Okay, so I think... I mean, even though there she didn't switch, I think going for Pursuit is the best bet. Oh, Recover! I forgot about that. Great. Um, I forgot that Latios gets Recover. Alright, so this is just showing that you can't just switch out. Because Muck will be waiting. Muck is always waiting. Alright, so now what we'll do is just go for knockoff. And that's what we'll do now. Just knock off. If she does switch this time, then something's going to lose its item. I think keeping Muck will be be good for that. Alright, so here comes the Dragon Pulse. I think keeping Muck for that Mega Charizard might be a good idea, since got so much special defense, but I don't know if it'll be able to handle it from this range. Alright, so there goes the Latias. And if I had to make a guess, I think Dawn Fan is coming in. That's my guess. That would be my guess. It would be great if we had some um, hazards set up, but for this battle I didn't bring any hazard, set, hazard setters because I was more worried about Landorus setting up hazards or even Donphan setting up hazards, but as you see Landorus is not here in this battle. Sophia has made herself comfortable. She was trying to paw at the microphone. Alright, so Rotom is coming in. Rotom is... Ghost Electric. So I think... What I want to do is just Shadow Sneak. I don't know... What would Rotom be doing? We'll go for Knock Off? Unless it has a Z Crystal and she's wanting to do an all-out Z Crystal move. Which is a possibility. I want to get as much damage as I can, and... Oh, Volt Switch. Alright, so I think that Shadow Sneak was a good idea, actually. We got some damage on the Rotom. Before it switched out. And something else is coming in. Yeah, I didn't have anything for that Volt Switch, though. What could be coming in? I had to make a guess. Either Donphan or Mega Charizard's coming in. I doubt Shaman's coming in. What else was on her team? I'll have to look at the team again. Wow, this is a this is really a really great match. We still have our whole team, but Muck's kind of kind of getting low on health. And that's something else I forgot to mention. This Muck is actually a is actually a Assault Vested. In the team setup, I said Figgy Berry, but this is Assault Vested. And that's 
those four little special attackers. But I think here the best thing to go for is probably... Actually, I'm going to save Muck. I'll just go into Mandibuzz. Or just go back into Caesar. Get some defog. Get defog back on out on the field. I'm going to save that muck. I think it'll come in handy. So the Mega Horn didn't do that much damage. <sighs> I doubt she's sticking in, but. Let's go ahead and see what her team is again. Yeah, there's the Ariados. Um, she still hasn't brought in Shaman. Or Charizard. We've got rid of the Latios. So I think... Mm -hmm. I'm, I think we should go for... Um, not sure. I'd, what would she switch in? I would say Charizard's a big possibility for a switch in. I want to get some sort of damage on Charizard. That's what I want to do. So it's back to Dawn Pan. ahead and what's this thing going to do? Got to make a guess, probably Stealth Rocks. Does it get Fire Fang? Is that why she's bringing it in? Hmm. Well, I think... I think a U-turn probably be the best bet. Will you turn out? Alright, I want to save Muck. I'm going to send in... Do I want to send in Roserade? <sighs> Something's going to take a hit. Something's going to take a hit. I'll switch. I'll go into Mandibuzz because Mandibuzz has foul play, and I think that will that will be good. I think we'll go for foul play. I doubt he's going. She um. All right, earthquake. Oh yes, that was the best play. Ah yes. Oh my goodness. All right, so. What's going to be switched in, probably. I'm going to go ahead and go for the foul play. But that was such a good switch in. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I was about to switch into Roserade, and I don't think Roserade would have liked taking a taking an earthquake. I'll just go ahead foul play, get some damage on whatever is about to switch in. I'm pretty sure something's switching in. Wow, that was such a good switch. Alright, so... Pretty sure something's switching in. Uh, he doesn't have anything that really wants to take a foul play. That's the thing about my team, is that... Defog is a real important thing to have, especially with Typhlosion and Dragonite on my team. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the switch. Maui. Oh, that, that's Shaman. 
Okay, so let's see how much damage this does. Not that much. All right. So what what are you doing, Shaman? Um, I think. I think, oh man, this is my specially defensive Manda Buzz too. I'll just go for a U-turn. I'll just do that. Empower what? Uh oh. Super effective. Wow, Manda Buzz is great defensively. Wow, I love Manda Buzz. All right, so. Mm hmm. I think we could put some pressure in by pulling in Typhlosion. Make some pressure. I'm going to Rose Raid. Uh, I think, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I think, I think we'll let Typhlosion come in. I think it's Typhlosion time, baby. Typhlosion! And we'll probably chase out this... Alright, well, there's nothing that wants to take an eruption except for Charizard. And that's why we have Hidden Power Rock. So, here's the thing. What is the chance for switching into Charizard on this? I can go for eruption. Nothing's going to want to take an eruption. But I can go ahead and get Hidden Power, affecting Charizard. Yeah, I'll do Hidden Power. I think Hidden Power Rock is the best bet. I think, I think she's switching into Charizard here. Nope, Charlotte. Oh, so we just, we just basically showed our cards. Oh, she knows we have Hidden Power Rock. He knows. Oh no. Unless she assumed it was psychic or something. Oh no. Alright, so. We're gonna have to switch. <coughs> hmm. But into what? I think. I think bringing in these uh, can't really do that much, though. That's the thing. Um, I think, but I think Caesar is the best thing to bring in. He doesn't have any fire type moves on this Don fan, or else she would have used them already. So we'll just go into. Oh yeah, Stealth Rocks. Yeah, we need to get rid of Stealth Rocks. That's an important thing to do. Get rid of Stealth Rocks. Okay, we'll go ahead and defog, I think. Yeah, we'll go ahead and defog, get rid of these Stealth Rocks. She's probably switching, yeah. There's a chance she might switch into... Arzard. Oh, no. Alright, so we got rid of the defog. I think, Muck, I think you have to take one for the team. Especially against this thing. <clears throat> I think Muck has to take one for the team. I think Muck... Yeah, Muck has to take one for the team. The only thing Muck is really going to be that great against the Shaman. It really took that um, Bolt Switch really nicely, though. So we'll go into Muck. Let Muck take, take something. So Muck is going down. Sorry, Muck. You have to take one for the team, especially against this thing. This thing is going to do a lot of damage, no matter what. Mm. It's going to hurt. Air Slash. So it has Air Slash. Oh! Okay then. We'll just go for the Shadow Sneak, I think. I think that's the best thing. Go for Shadow Sneak, get some damage on this, this um, 
on this Charizard. That's the best thing to do right now. And we're going to take a Dragon Pulse. So, Muck is going down. Muck is awesome. Alright, but we got some sort of damage on this. So, here's the thing. We could go into Typhlosion. But now she knows we have the Hidden Power Rock. She knows it. So, what do we do? Do we go for Eruption, expecting a switch? Or just Hidden Power Rock, expecting her to stay in and try to get rid of my Typhlosion? What is the best thing? See, nothing wants to take Eruption. Eruption will get rid of that Dawn Fan, I'm pretty sure. Or at least get it close um, to being taken out. It'll, of course, get rid of Shaman. Um, and, uh, of course, get rid of that Rotom. But, we need to go for... I think Hidden Power Rock is the safest play. Because if she stays in and just takes out Typhlosion, there goes a big threat to her team. So, Hidden Power Rock... <clears throat> Alright, so she is going to switch. And she's switching into Dawn Fan. So we'll go ahead. I think now. Muck's out, so Muck's off the off the board now. Forgot to do that. So now we got this thing to worry about. And I think. Ah, uh, we can't do that one move, though. We can't go into Caesar because we don't have anything, because if she switches into um, Charizard again, we don't have anything to take a hit. We need, I think we'll switch into Roserade this time. Oh, man. I think, uh... Yeah, we'll go in, go ahead and go into Roserade, I think. I think... Alright, Roserade it is. Here's to hoping that we did not make the wrong decision. Stealth Rocks, okay. So... Let's go ahead and look at this team and think what could be coming in. We can go ahead and go for Energy Ball. Rotom probably does not want to take an Energy Ball because it's weakened. Of course, Donphan does not want to take an Energy Ball. But Shaman and Charizard resist Energy Ball. Oh. So if Shaman's coming in, we need to go for Sludge Bomb. If Charizard's coming in, we need to go for Hidden Power Rock. But if she's sticking with um, Dawn Fan, we need to go for Energy Ball. So I think... Uh, I think... We need to go for Hidden Power Rock. And hopefully we can catch that... <clears throat> catch that Charizard. Oh no! We stayed in. Taking an Earthquake. Uh oh. And Roserade live an Earthquake. Barely. Oh no. We need to switch into Mandibuzz, I think. Oh no. Oh no. We should have went for Energy Ball. I think that's... I think that's going to cost us. We were banking on the idea that, um... Ice Shard. Okay, so... And you go for Roost. I think Roost right now is a big thing to go for. We need to heal up. We need, go, we need to heal up. And then we can go for Defog.
Oh man. We need to keep Dragonite healthy and Typhlosion healthy. That's the big mission for us right now. Those two are what's going to stand between a victory or a loss. Now, I bet she's switching what she's doing. I bet she's switching probably Rotom's coming in. Alright, so Ice Shard is going to do a little bit of damage. But we have the Roost. <clears throat> so let's heal up. If we can get rid of this Dawn fan, that would be great. <clears throat> um. I think. Are we going for foul play? Try to get some. Uh, I think Defog's safer. And so in comes Charizard. This is going to hurt. Whatever Charizard is going to do is going to hurt. So I think the best thing we should do is just hit foul play. If we survive whatever Charizard is going to do, then we'll get some sort of damage on it. If we can get low enough for eruption, <coughs> then that's going to be great. Oh, Amanda Buzz, you're amazing, Amanda Buzz. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Amanda Buzz is really nice defensively. Oh man. Okay, so in a one-on-one -on -one battle, Amanda Buzz will take out Charizard. Um, see what else she has? She has that Dawn fan, of course. Shaman, but Shaman's probably a plausible switch in right now. I'm just going to go ahead and go for U-turn. Well, back to Dawn Fan. Alright, so now back to Roserade. I think Roserade, you need to go for Energy Ball. If we can get rid of this Dawn Fan, that's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Go ahead and Energy Ball. Put some. Right, so an Ice Shard. Actually, that might take us out. Yep. Hmm. Forgot about that. Alright, so. What do we do? I think we need to go into Dragonite. I think it's time for Dragonite to rain terror down on this team. We'll go ahead and go for Dragon Dance. Nice Shard might be coming. Dragon Dance is the best thing to go for right now. We need to keep Stealth Rocks off the field, too. Hmm. She doesn't have any fairy type, so Outrage is going to be a really good thing to go for. Alright, so Ice Shard. Let's see what's going to happen. Unfortunately, 
you don't have the extreme speed. You don't have the extreme speed. Oh no. So, I'm hoping... I shard up. I hope Dragonite can live this. Yes, okay. Ice Beam! Ice Beam! Get rid of this Dawn fan. Yes! Alright! So, I think a sweep is, is getting ready to be set up. We've got the weakness poly, we got policy, we got dragon dance. We are ready for this. That is, unless something she has is choice scarfed, that could mess up our plan. That Dawn fan is gone, so Typhlosion might get the sweep if if something comes in and ruins Dragonite sweep. I think that Dragon Dance was an important thing to get because now we're we have boosted speed and Dragonite is ready to ravage this team. Going on the outrage soon. That's what we're going to do. Go for outrage. Nothing really wants to take an outrage. Alright, Rotom's coming in. I don't know if it's Choice Scarf, or if it's faster than Dragonite, but we're just going to Outrage. Outrage for the win, hopefully. Alright, let's get ready to do some sweepage. Goodbye, Rotom. Okay, so in comes Maui, the Shaman. I don't know if... Without Shaman... Shaman was a logical um, threat. He would have went into it sooner. So, Dragonite has got sweet. I think, I think this might be the game. I think this is the game. Oh no. There is a problem in our plan. And that is, Dragonite is now confused. That's okay, we still have Typhlosion. Typhlosion has Hidden Power Rock. He can just... Dragonite... Dragonite gets stopped right here. Typhlosion can come in and give us the win. I think Dragonite has been stopped. Dragonite has just stopped his own outrage. Alright, so now we just have three Pokemon left, and I think... Time for Typhlosion now. Typhlosion time. So, in Power Rock. This is it. Typhlosion. Time for you to give us our first victory. All right. So this should take out the Charizard. All right. What a game. What a game. Typhlosion, you did it. You did it. Oh man, Typhlosion, you are awesome. That was such a great battle. I'd like to thank um, Sweet Banana Gaming for such a, an awesome battle. That was There were some points in there where it could have went either way. I'm going to save that battle video. That was awesome. You did such a great job. Thank you for this battle. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And keep your channel here for some future um, Pokemon Global Battle League battles. Thank you for watching.